All right, 5.30 having arrived, call the meeting to order. We'll stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of So it's almost Christmas, and every Christmas, we get a block of cheese from Mr. George Sansusi. And for once, he's actually here when we were actually enjoying it on the table. Have you had a chance to taste it? Yes, we have. It's right there. So um, we're going to go into a non-public session to, a, to discuss tax assessment methodology, metho methodology in Deerfield for Northern Pass. I'm going to allow 10 minutes of comment prior to us going in. Jeannie, you have some questions first. Actually, I just wanted a piece of cheese. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for the opportunity to speak before the meeting. This uh, goes a long way, and we appreciate it. A um, couple of questions. The opponents of Northern Pass Transmission are concerned that Eversource is going to want to strike a deal with Deerfield Board of Selectmen um, regarding Northern Pass Transmission proposed tax revenues and um, potentially want to do this behind closed doors. And we were wondering how the Board of Selectmen will handle such a scenario if it presents itself. Go ahead, Dan. Can I jump in on that? I, I think uh, what the Board of Selectmen is doing here, um, this is... Yeah, this is an initial sort of feeling out process. I'd, at least to my knowledge, the Board of Selectmen has no particular um, desire to work out a backroom deal uh, with Northern Pass for tax revenue. Um, they reached out to us. We've agreed to talk with them a little bit. And I would also just comment, I, I know there's been some concern about um, what we're meeting with maybe Attorney Whitley about. And I would say that this... Unless I'm uh, completely wrong, we are in no way discussing opposition to Northern Pass in non-public session this evening either. We're talking about uh, what's the best position for Deerfield. Okay. Um, a few weeks ago, the Board of Selectmen initiated an introductory discussion regarding <coughs> residents' views about burial of Northern Pass transmission in Deerfield. And we really we thank you for initiating public input. Um, that's uh, we consider that fantastic how will the Board of Selectmen take into consideration um, the negatives to aesthetics uh, property value degrad degradation wetland and conservation land compromises historical resource impacts construction impacts to our roads substation and expansion impacts noise etc when evaluating if any tax revenue proposal is indeed a benefit to Deerfield, um, given the balance of you know the neg negatives and the positives, so how how are you going to assess the um, you know the uh, the revenue side in contrast to the the negatives to the proposal? What's your plan? Are you going to have more public input? I don't think you want to fix the other. Go ahead. I don't know that we have a plan at this stage of the game. Um, we haven't actually talked directly uh, with the Northern Pass Project about what they might offer, what we might be looking for, and I think this is probably the initial phase to that process. Okay, thank you. And um, why does this evening's meeting regarding tax discussions and Northern Pass transmission need to be behind closed doors? Good. I, I think we're, use, we're having a, a non-public session just based on the fact that we intend to receive legal advice and under subsection L of the 91A3 uh, public access law, we are allowed to meet behind closed doors to consider legal advice and it's my opinion, and I think the board's that it's in the best interest of the town, at least at, at this stage of the game, uh, to have at least our initial meeting in non-public. And I and I would say that before we made a decision, it would come. The decision would come out in public. Okay. 
Yeah, we don't want to make a decision in there. We're not making any decisions hearing. tonight. We're hearing. Hearing but legal when, advice. But when a decision needs to be made, it would be made in public. Okay. Thank you. Um, I did want to um, just share with the board and uh, anyone else here tonight um, that as part of the site, ev site evaluation um, process and um, one of the earlier stages, you know, the applicant, Eversource doing uh, PSNH doing business as Eversource uh, submitted uh, information um, in their application and then the Department of Energy uh, conducted a environmental impact statement and um, that was uh, one of the um, reports had to do with visual impacts to Deerfield um, and all the communities along the right of way and um, there is a uh, I'll leave this up on the board for your review um, up at the table for your review, but this is just an example of some of the um, what the opposition is viewing as um, uh, you know impacts visual impacts to Deerfield. This is a, a site that um, was taken along Nottingham Road, and the Department of Energy uh, ruled on this as being unreasonably adverse from a visual visual impacts um, standpoint. So these are the types of things that we're hoping the board will have. Um, you know, when you are uh, presenting and, and gathering input, these are the type of information that's out there that is really critical in our evaluation of this project as a whole. So um, the action committee wants to be a conduit of, of making sure that all of these things are considered when decision times are being made. So thank you, um, Jeannie. Well, thank you. Jeannie, and that uh, photo, that's on Nottingham Road looking... Towards the, the substation. So looking east. Yes. Okay. So this would be a public uh, view as right. you're driving down the road. Right. And uh, there are a number of structures, uh, existing structures, and the proposed structure would be in this uh, view uh, assessment. So uh, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. we got three minutes left for anyone who wants to step to the, to the mic. Joanne Bradbury, next. citizen, and the cheese looks good. Um, uh, I, I, am an, I am a Deerfield butter, and I am opposed to the Northern Pass, and I will uh, like to lay out some reasons why I think that uh, we should not be making any deals with Eversource. <coughs> they are knocking on your door because it does want to undermine one of the strongest opponents to Northern Pass, the Deerfield people who have been to the technical sessions and who have been participating in this proceeding. Um, they are afraid of us, and they should be. Um, collectively, we have three municipal boards, you good people, the uh, Planning Board and the Conservation Commission. We have legal representation. I saw him back there. Um, and many individual interveners. Some of them are here tonight. Many other of the opposing towns have not been able to put this kind of, uh, of uh, showing together. Uh, they, don't, they are unable to show the same resilience and strength. Um, we have mounted strong defenses in our pre-filed testimony of both of, of, of the boards and the individual interveners. We have raised very strong counter arguments on the historic and aesthetic impacts, stormwater management issues, real estate property value impact, public health and safety, and all forms of environmental issues with respect to wetlands and wildlife. And the deadlines are not over. There is more testimony to be filed and there are more responses to data requests to be uh, filed. Uh, additional expert testimony is coming later this month and more technical sessions after that. Um, settling with Deerfield, if Eversource offers you something, uh, it will take, and, and if that is accepted, it will take the wind out of the opposition's sails. There would be no question about that. It's exactly what they want. Uh, it is too soon. The SEC will decide this matter after a hearing coming, come, we just got the schedule today. It's going to go through spring, summer of 2017. And there is no reason for Deerfield to engage in any settlement discussions before all of that expert testimony and all the facts are on the table. There is a lot of stuff out there that will have a bearing on what anything that you do. Um, uh, trying to make a settlement before that's out there only benefits Eversource. If you sit down to talk with them, be careful. Everything you say and do will be put under a microscope by an arsenal of very highly paid attorneys and negotiators. They are well armed with those people. 
Um, the Deerfield Voters Roadmap is clear, oppose the project. At this point, we do not know all of the impacts on Deerfield and settling on a particular dollar figure will sell us out if uh, you don't have all the facts. And Eversource has not provided them. We are still trying to get all of the facts from Eversource and we are working hard at it, many of us. Um, Council for the Public and others have submitted very valuable right. pre-file testimony. I'm running, I'm running out of time on this and I just wanted to comment. The Board of Selectmen is not looking to make any deal at all at this time. I'd like you to, uh, I'd like to cut you off, allow Mrs. Katie to speak, and let us get this uh, meeting going. Okay, well, I Thank do you. have some uh, links for you that have everyone's pre-filed testimony. It's, it's referenced here, so you can take a look at that. It's very valuable information. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Mrs. Katie? I'll be quite quick. I am appalled that boards have taken positions on this when that is a compelled speech issue. Secondly, I find <clears throat> that when I drive by the power lines, they aren't the prettiest sights in the world, but they're quickly gone from my sight. I see the animals crossing, I see the people that hike, I see the hunters that use them, and I do not see where the use of the existing power lines will change value in any way. They're existing, it's not a pretty sight now, it won't be a pretty <coughs> sight later. Thank you, Ms. Katie. Could I get a motion to go into non-public <coughs> session under L? You may. I'll make a motion we go into non-public RSA 91A3 Roman Rule 2 letter L. Second. Cons consideration of legal advice provided by legal counsel either in writing or orally to one or more members of the public body. Yes. 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 We make We're good? I want to know for the record that no action was taken in non-public session. Could I get a motion to seal the minutes? So moved. Second. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. All right. Review of outstanding minutes for 1212. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Uh, yes. Page. On page three under unfinished, um, the last paragraph refers to January 8th as the final event for the 250th. It's January 7th. Okay. Anything else? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Have accounts payable manifest in the amount of $91,265.48. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have a payroll manifest grossing at $64,850.63, netting at $50,148.08. Motion to approve. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We signed a letter to uh, the trustee of the trust fund's chairman, Mr. James Sullivan, regarding uh, increasing, the amount of, increasing the amount of tax money from 5000 to 10000 in the cemetery budget that would not be returned to the town from the cemetery trust funds. Trustees would like permission to use the letter dated November 21st and apply the 10000 to the 2015 transfer of money. Is that okay with everyone? I'm in agreement. Do we have a motion on that? Yes, please. Please. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you much. Okay, um, we have the uh, 
Town of Deerfield safety policy. I would make a motion that we adopt the safety policy as presented. Second. Okay, discussionary. Um, <coughs> just, just so that we know, the responsibilities of the Board of Selectmen shall be to officially adopt a safety policy, to have overall responsibility, responsibility of the safety policy, make safety a number one priority for all employees, budget adequate resources for the safety program, which may include but is not limited to safety equipment, personal protection equipment, training and education, provide for the required and necessary safety and health training for employees at no cost without any loss of pay so they can perform their work in a safe and healthy work environment, and to respond in writing to recommendations made by the JLMC or make a verbal response that is recorded in the Board of Selectmen's official minutes. And that's what you need to do. And that's what we need to do here. So the Joint Loss Management Committee has met and recommends the following. They amend, no amendments to the joint to the safety policy at this time. In the first quarter of 2017, the JLMC will be updating existing expect, inspection checklists as well as developing new ones for additional town buildings and property, such as VZ Park, Hartford Brook Field, etc. This effort will include a review and incorporation of any changes to DOL rules and regulations. Based on the review of the 2016 incident data, including the slip and fall log, the JLMC recommends the following. All employees will be reminded that safety is number one priority and they must immediately report dangerous conditions or any injury to employees or the public. Special winter footwear, yak tracks, shall be made available to employees to reduce the risk of slip and fall. Primex sizing order forms have been given to the department heads. As part of the Prime X-3, the JLMC instituted two, two 2017 benchmarks that are attached regarding slip and falls in motor vehicles. The JLMC will work with department heads to share and promote these safety policies with employees. The JLMC will continue to send all department heads safety bulletins, training notices for them to share with all employees. Safety bulletins are maintained in each department's safety binders. In 2017, the JLMC will expand outreach efforts to each department. In 2017, first quarter, the JLMC examined whether additional safety policies are warranted in light of additional town acquisitions, e.g. boating safety policy prior to opening of Easy Park. Attached is the 2016 JLMC inspection war report and checklists. Joint Loss Management Committee has conducted the 2016 annual inspection and files this report. <coughs> in 2016, the JLMC documented the inspection in using checklists of the following departments. The George B. White Building, Town Administration Suites, including EOC Assessing Suite, Tax Collector Suite, Police Department, Parks and Rec Department, the Town Hall, the Fire Departments on Church Street and Birch Road, the Philip Ricks James Library and the Transfer Station. It also inspected the playground of the G GBW, VZ Park, and Hartford Brook Field. The JLMC has reviewed the 2016 inspection checklist and made the recommendation below at its meeting on December 15, 2016. During the inspections, it found multiple batteries had failed and emergency lights in many buildings. These have been replaced. Based on its review of the 2016 inspection reports, the JLMC recommends the following. Obtain poison center emergency decals for telephones. Evaluate storage container usage for chemicals at the highway department. Add barriers around generator at fire department. Obtain additional AEDs for town hall and transfer station. Obtain additional IWAS station at transfer station. Level areas around the George B. White basketball court in spring. And reinspect VZ Park one month prior to opening to ensure necessary repairs and changes are made on the grounds. Would we say that we agree with all the uh, that all the um, recommendations should be followed? Yes. 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 So that will we'll include that in the motion to approve the policy? Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank Is there a place to sign? No. Okay. Thank you.
Granite State Analytical Services. What are they doing? Water testing of the buildings. And we need a um, certified operator. And Mark is a certified operator at the moment. And we need... Of the water system. Of the water system. And we need your signature saying that he is. No, it says the Granite State. Oh, Granite State is. Sorry. Wrong one. Okay, so the total cost is eighteen hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cents. I take it that's in the budget for next year? Yes. Okay, and a motion for me to sign this. I would make a motion authorizing the chair to sign the Granite State Water Analytical uh, testing proposal. Yeah. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Opposed. folders it's important that anything on the left side stay on the left side oh. anything on the right side stay on the right side <laughs> thank you very much because otherwise I get confused all right we have a letter here to uh, representative James Spillane thanking him for the work that he did on the donation of the sharp copier Great. did we get the copier yet we're working on it. A letter to Ken Kreiss from Capital Copy. I have a uh, letter from the tax collector property Re requesting a property tax supplement warrant in the amount of $6,926 for Sherwood Woods, Southern New Hampshire, SNHS map 210, lots 9 sub 2. They were incorrectly billed instead of 31000 484, it should have been 24,558. So this is the Southern New Hampshire Deerfield Elderly Housing Limited Partnership. I would make a motion that we make the correction to their tax billing. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 I have a request, a refund request from the town clerk, tax collector, requesting that we uh, refund the amount of $955.20 to Marilyn Valcor of Five Willow Ave, Danvers, Mass. In, in December 12th, we received payment in an amount of 3194 for second half taxes on 12 Sunset Lane, causing an overpayment in the amount of 955.20. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have an application for property tax credit in the amount of $500 veterans credit for Kyle Roderick of 13 Country Road in Deerfield. Paperwork is in, in order. Motion to approve. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Now these are pretty new forms. Speaking of printers, Rick Pelletier has been looking to purchase a printer capable to, to be able to print the large plans for the septic designs and approvals. 
The state of New Hampshire no longer sends these plans by mail. The state emails the plans. Rick is unable to print these large plans. Attached is a customer agreement with Canon Solutions America Incorporated. Also attached are two other quotes. The printer from Canon Solutions America is a direct purchase from Canon with free delivery and setup. So, $2,289 from Canon Solutions. Thousand two hundred eighty-nine for for the canning solutions. Two thousand two hundred and forty-one buying it from Newegg. I imagine that would plus one hundred and nineteen shipping. Two thousand three hundred ninety oh seven from CDW.com. And the recommendation from Steve Lamelli is that we do the Canon one. It seems to fit our uh, best bet. But it would be two thousand two hundred eighty-nine dollars. You have the money? I would make a motion that we authorize him to go ahead. Then that's some important plans. And that the chairman sign the agreement. Second. I know that's been a been an issue, a sore point. Oh, yeah. uh, as a designer, you still have to submit three plans to the state, but they don't send any back to the town, which right. is crazy. And we should have some on, on, on file. Absolutely. All right, so uh, the motion is to approve it and have the chairman sign the contract. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> personnel action request from Joe Manzi to hire Adam Esty as a Parks and Rec after school staff. Is that, is that higher or is that the anniversary one? Anniversary. I apologize. It does say one year anniversary. But in, in, other, in other words, he wants to increase his pay from ten fifty to $11. I need a motion for the chair to uh, sign that approval. Make a motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? How was the drums today? That Fantastic. The kid, let's put it this way. The kids were very enthusiastic. I can imagine. And Scylla does a great job. Awesome. Uh, signatures review of comments. Yeah. All right. I've been doing a lot of talking tonight, but I'm going to go a little further. I want to read this into the record because some people seem to forget, and it's the season. There is a snow obstruction ordinance in the town of Deerfield. It is, shall be unlawful for any person to put or place or to cause to be put or placed any snow or ice upon the surface of the traveled portion of any town maintained road or to plow or cause to be plow, plowed any snow across town maintained roadway, which causes obstruction to traffic or reduces the traffic way. Any person violating this ordinance shall be subject to a fine of $100 plus the cost of removing snow or ice by the highway department. 
Please keep in mind that there are a number of portable basketball hoops that are placed within the town right of way. These too must be moved. Any damage done to items placed within the town's right of way is not the town's responsibility. Obstructions intentionally placed <coughs> in the town's right of way causing damage to another, the cost of the damage becomes the responsibility of the person responsible for the obstruction. And a snow emergency ordinance, it shall be unlawful for any person having custody or control of any vehicle to park or to cause to be parked on any town road during snow removal, sanding, or salting operations. Members of the police department are hereby authorized to have towed any vehicle in violation of this ordinance. Any person violating this ordinance shall be subject to a fine of $50 and shall be responsible for any and all towing storages, storage charges. We've had problems with the last snowstorm, so we need to get that out there and make sure that everybody understands what they need to do to help us keep the roads passable. I have a, a letter here from Brookside Mechanical to, uh, to the town of Deerfield to whom may concern. The two oil boilers at the George B. White building were designed and are installed to operate on outdoor reset. Outdoor reset means the boilers will not operate when the outdoor temperature is above 70 degrees. The purpose of the control is to comply with energy codes in order to save heating fuel. The boilers being off in the warmer days will not harm or damage them. Small drips may or may not appear at plump fl pump flanges and will reseal when the boiler automatically when heat is needed. That's in response to a, a comment made by someone about turning the boilers off and getting new water heaters. Administrator's report. All right, I'm going to remind everybody that our next meeting is going to be Thursday, the 29th, at normal time, 5:30, because Monday is a holiday, and that will be our end of the year um, final, final, basically for our budget. Um, I have set a public hearing to accept phase two, three, and four of the Forest Glen subdivision, which is Hartford Brook Road, Bloomfield Road, and Cobbler Trailer Trail Road on January 9th at 6 p.m. Um, also, on Thursday, we'll be sending out a notice that we will be needing signatures for accounts payable. Um, we will be ready on Friday, and if not, you can do it over the weekend. Um, I would also like to ask the board to allow the employees um, to leave early on the 23rd. This would be after the town clerk tax collector's office closes at 2.30, and all work is completed. So I'm looking probably between 3 and 3.30. I'm okay with that. Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in general agreement. That's all? That's it. Any questions for the town minister? Yeah, two quick things. Um, budget committee had asked if we could get budgets up online on the website. I hadn't been on the website, but I didn't know if you had a chance to talk I, to Steve about that. It. I asked um, Penny. Okay. And I will check with her tomorrow morning. All right, I'll follow up. Uh, the other thing I'll mention, the budget committee, uh, or at least several members of the budget committee, were also uh, interested in talking to us about how we present the highway budget, particularly with regard to road reconstruction. Um, I told Mr. Vareville that I would bring it up. Um, I don't believe we're going to discuss it this evening because the agenda is relatively full, but uh, it's something that uh, I'll try to bring up next meeting or the meeting after. Okay. See any other concerns at the budget committee that we need to deal with? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Any other questions for the town administrator? All right. Unfinished business. Other or new? <coughs> All right, folks. We're going to go into 
at least three non-public sessions. At, when we come out, we may or may not take action. Citizens' comments afterwards will be available. I just wanted to give you a heads up that it's, it, it's not going to be a short evening. So hearing saying that, can I get a uh, non-public session under A, please? Make a motion and we go into non public RSA 91A3, Roman Rule 2, Letter A. Second. The dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee, or the disciplining of such employee, or the investigation of any charges against him or her unless the employee affected. Yes. yes. Second first. Oh, oh I second. Andy did. Okay. <clears throat> yes. 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 All right. I want to know for the record that no action is taken in a non-public session. Could I get a motion to seal the minutes of the non-public session? So moved. Second. Yes. 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 Can I get a motion to go into non-public session under L, please? I'll make a motion. We go into non-public RSA 91A3, Roman Rule 2, letter L. Consideration of legal advice provided by legal counsel, either in writing or orally, so one or more members of the public party, even where legal counsel is not present. Second. Yes. 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 All right, I want to know for the record that no action was taken in a non public session. Could I get a motion to seal the minutes of the non public? So moved. Second. Yes. 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 We no longer need the next non-public. Any com citizens' comments? Please step to the mic. Seeing none. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Maureen, I was Maureen thank you very much. Something.